So, uh, so, so I had the question was whether or not something gets lost in terms of understanding your community. I think that one thing. Uh, let me let me start by saying that when I go out onto the street and I and I walk into these places, I, I obviously I don't walk in and I say, hey, listen, I graduated from college. What's up? So uh, you want to listen to what I have to say? So. Uh, <laughs> I do think that my, my training in terms of getting a college education has really forced me critically to think about how my job works in the institution as a whole. Um, I, I don't want to say that this is just college education in general, I got a liberal arts humanities background, and I think that has really forced me to also think about the way that I talk about the outreach work once I do it, not, not ever talking about the college education, by the way, once I bring that back to, say, the monthly meetings. Because some of the, my, my peers who are the best outreach workers or community health workers, in my opinion, do not have um, college education, but it's like what you mentioned, there is a passion there. I think the college education thing does offer some mobility because that was a question in terms of how can you move on from being a community health worker. Um, but that said, my peers, the ones who I think are the best community health workers, may not, they may refuse to come onto a panel like this. And I think that has something to do with their feeling like, well, if I'm, I may not be as articulate or and I may not have the same sort of educational training to say what is the correct thing to say here in the span of 45 minutes. So 